Hi hey guys, welcome back. So in my last video I posted, we installed Ubono 18.4 on this VM here. So today I thought I was going to make a video on installing LAMP and PHP my admin if time allows. So let's just jump right into that. I'm going to switch you over to the VM. So before we begin installing anything, we're just going to make sure the server is completely up to date. So you just put app get update if I can type. Let me run that. This server should be all up to date, but just make sure yours is. And put upgrade. And we're going to do dis upgrade. And this one here will remove any packages that are no longer in use. And we're all good to go. So I want to install open SSH server on here so I can remote in on my Ubuntu 16 desktop and use the terminal from there. So in order to do that we have to install this git install open SSH. So if you hear any noise in the back it's a cat going crazy. And I can't type the cat say distracting me. And I'm just gonna let that install. Should take less than a minute. Okay, now we need to get the IP address, which is right here. So I'm going to switch over to my terminal on my desktop. I'm going to SSH into that. Type yes, and then type our top secret passphrase. So now what we need to do is install Apache. We'll start off with, so we'll just type sudo app get install Apache 2. Type our type secret passphrase again. And this will take a minute. Okay, it looks like it's wrapping it up now. Okay. So now, when I switch you over to the web view, we will just go to the IP address of that server. Whoops. So now we get the default page on term uh, that Apache puts out there for you. So we're going to switch over here and we're going to make a folder in the HTML file. I mean directory. So that'd be var www.html. And there's the default HTML file they create for you. So we're going to sudo nano php info dot php crazy cat. And we're going to start and end with php tags if I can type. <laughs> and we're going to do php info. And we just save that and exit. So now we should have that there. If you switch over to the web view and we'll go to PHP info, it'll just show up as text. That's because we don't have PHP currently installed. So let's switch back to the terminal. So we need to install PHP. So we're going to do sudo app git install php. I'm just going to install a little php url. That one's a good one to have. XML. Install that. Whoops. I did php. This one here, I believe, is required for whoops, the php my admin. Let me just resize my terminal window just a little bit so it ain't. There we go. So it's getting in too many rows, starts looking messy in the video. And this one here is also for the PHP My Admin. Hit text. 
which one is yeah, FPM. We're going to install FPM. So we just hit enter. Give this a minute to do its thing. Okay, it looks like it's pretty much wrapping it up. I did a few changes to my video from the previous one, so we should have a little bit better quality. Hopefully. So now when we switch back to the web view and we reload this page, we got this PHP 7.2 is now installed and gives you all its information. So now we're going to switch back here and now we need to install my SQL server. So we're going to sudo app get install my server and we're going to install Let's see, you know, a client. So we need to have this installed. Give it a minute to do its thing, and then after this, we'll be setting up fast phrases for my SQL. Okay, it'll be finishing up soon. Okie dokie. So now we need to set up a passphrase. So in order to do that, we type in sudo mysql secure connection and yes, we want to proceed. I'm going to do one for medium strength. Just give me a second to generate some kind of goofy passphrase. Bring a passphrase. Yes. Remove anonymous users. This is up to your choice, but I'm going to remove them. Disallow remote uh, root access remotely. I'm not going to disallow that. I'm going to remove the test databases and definitely reload privileges. So now we got that installed. Now we need to log in and set up, uh, so change the password so PHP MyAdmin will work once we get that installed. So we need to, whoops, sudo SQL, and we're going to put you, this is going to be user, which would be root, we're trying to log into, and we type in our top secret passphrase. Okay. Now, I'm just going to kind of copy these paste these commands I got here. Because I ain't typing all that out. I'm trying to sit, cut down on video time for you guys. So I'll just give you a couple seconds to get that down. Okay. Now, what that does is shows us that, see how... The, the MySQL session is using MySQL native password and root is using event socket. So we need to change that on the root user. So what we're going to be doing is changing that. This next command will do that. Give me a second to get that. These should be in the description. You just have to change them with your password and stuff. But that's when I set the password on the test server. So just give you a second if you need to pause the video or just get copy it from the description. I should put it in the description. Okay. And then we're going to exit. Wait. For that, I want to do this first can. Flush privileges. And then we're going to 
check those again. Now you see the root user is using the MySQL native password. So we're just going to, I don't need to run that again. We're just going to exit. Okay. So now we need to install PHP my admin. So we're going to sudo app. Whoops. Install PHP my admin. Whoops. Okay, we're using Apache. You just give this a minute to install. Do you want to configure them? Yes. And type in your password, re enter your password, and continue on. Okie dokie. Now, one thing we do have to do is restart Apache. So we're going to do that. So we're going to sudo whoops, Apache 2. So we restarted Apache. And then we're going to switch back over to the web view. And we reload this. You see some stuff there changed. And then once we go to PHP my at whoops. Once we go to the PHP my admin, and it was root and your passphrase. And there you go. You now have a HTTP server. LAMP. That stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP. Just if you wanted. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Talk to you later.